I was a little girl and I was watching Happiness, it was like always this long-term goal of mine. I remember the first time I really watched a full sit-down show of Happiness and I just sat next to my parents and they were like, that's going to be you someday, that's going to be you someday. And I always said it, but it didn't really come, like I, I don't know, I guess I just, when it actually happened for a second, I was like, I actually did it. I kind of discovered what show choir was when I was in like eighth grade because I had a friend at WASH and I went to one of her competitions. I actually went to Mo Show and like I watched it and I just fell in love with it and I was like, I have to do this. Like, I absolutely want to do that. I'm Sam Earl. I'm a senior and I've been in happiness for two years. The dynamic we have as a group is very, it's a very positive team dynamic that I enjoy and it's very applicable to a lot of other scenarios such as in work, in sports, in the future, in college and I think that that's something that is so unique and so focused that I wouldn't trade it for anything. <laughs> Happiness Incorporated is Kennedy's Varsity Show Choir, and I think it's really cool that they've given kids a space to express themselves and join a performance art that is more than just theater or choir. It's kind of a little bit of both. So the first show car competition of the year for us was at Ankeny Centennial, and we were scheduled to go on a Saturday, but there was a huge snowstorm on the Thursday and Friday leading up to it, and so they canceled it. I am Heather Raver. I am from Ankeny Centennial High School, and I'm supporting uh, the Spectrum group because I have a senior in it this year. Our Mid-Iowa was canceled. What does that mean to us? It means a loss of a lot of revenue, paying for staging, lighting, costumes. The judges that were already flying in, that were on their way to get to us, so it was a huge loss. It was a loss of things that were already delivered on Friday morning that we'd already paid for. How do you make that up? So Mr. Ziegler set up a fundraiser for them, and a lot of us donated. Show choir staff, students, and families at Cedar Rapids Kennedy High School are fundraising for another school. Saturday's bad weather forced Ankeny Centennial High School to cancel its show choir invitational. The Kennedy Show Choir was planning to compete in Ankeny, but now Kennedy Show Choir director Storm Ziegler is encouraging families to donate the same amount of money they would have spent at the competition, and that money will now go to Ankeny Centennial. Cedar Rapids Kennedy had stepped up to the plate and opened up their arms and started a fundraising or donation avenue for us, which we were all, parents were in tears, and everybody was sending out this email and texting this email, and I know I Facebooked about it and couldn't believe, when they talk about Iowa Nice, Cedar Rapids Kennedy hit it right on the head that they are Iowa Nice. The happy buttons are because of happiness. And one of our moms was like, you know what, we have to do something to show that at every competition, we appreciate everything they did. She found happy buttons, and that's where it all started. What they did for us was more than anybody ever expected. And I know from being a parent, and this is our last year as parents with Centennial, you learn so much through a group like this. And just the fact that anybody would want to do that and help out a competing school was more than we could ever expect. So from Ankeny Centennial, from the CCMPO board, thank you so much for opening up your hearts, your pocketbooks, and doing this for us. We appreciate it. really makes happiness stick out from other show choirs is 
the way they decide to put on their shows. So currently in the show choir world, it's really trendy to do like a story show or something that's really serious and covers dark topics. But part of like the beauty of happiness is the fact that like when you watch the show, it's supposed to make you smile. And there might be parts where you laugh at a novelty because, oh, that's silly. And there will be times like especially during the ballad where like it's really heartfelt and like it made me cry sometimes. What's really special about happiness is just the way it affects the audience and like really like draws them in. My name is Sydney Maxa. I've been in happiness for the last three years and I've been the head technical member for the last two years. I've always been interested in show choir and performance and I didn't know where to start and I think being a newbie I wanted to test the waters before auditioning for show choir. I saw them kind of go backstage and I thought that was so cool. I didn't think about show choir having a combo and a technical crew and that there are other parts to being and creating a show other than just being up on stage. So I knew that I could take a good leadership role on that and that I could be a part of something really, really cool that I've always been inspired by. I've been in show choir since eighth grade. Um, I started just by, you know, playing second trumpet in the Taft Middle School Band, uh, all the way up to playing lead in Happiness and Protégé and directing Sean Tours. Show choir is that one thing that once you're out of high school, it's, it's gone. You can't go back to it, and it hurts a little bit. So you, you really got to... You got you got to live in the moment. You can't you can't go to competitions and think, oh man, I messed up this one move, and uh, the judge saw it, and everybody everybody's gonna laugh. No, you, you, the only thing you're gonna remember from these competitions is, you know, how late you stayed up and how much fun it was to get up with your friends at 3 a.m. and drive all the way to Davenport and eat a bunch of junk food and spend money on things that you don't need. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity, and once it's gone, it's gone. You can't get that back. I've loved theater, I've loved performing ever since I was like really little and I wanted to be in the best show choir I possibly could be and since Mount Vernon didn't have a show choir I you know looked around the Cedar Rapids area and there was Kennedy and like I fell in love with happiness. So when I was originally like wanting to switch schools I didn't tell my dad. My dad like loves Mount Vernon. He went to school there so like it's his alma mater. So I filled out like an open enrollment form and I ended up getting approved and after I got approved we told my dad and I was like hey I'm not going to Mount Vernon next year I'm actually going to Kennedy and he was like what? Okay so around my sophomore year I started getting anxiety for the first time in my life so I've never really had stage fright until my freshman year it kind of hit and then it started to get really bad and until this year when I was in happiness Ziggler made me feel comfortable to audition and he told me that you know I have a beautiful voice and I should share it with people and he offered to you know have a backup basically gave me all the accommodations so that I could feel comfortable doing it I finally got the courage to like face my fear this year and I go on and I sing that solo I just wanna be a kid it's a huge weight off my back and I feel like I've finally overcome something that was haunting me for so long and I genuinely wouldn't have been able to do that if it wasn't for Mr. Ziegler. When I think of Mr. Ziegler, I think of someone who is incredibly diligent in what he does while maintaining a lighthearted and fun attitude. And it's something that has made him an incredible educator in music, and we've seen how good he is at it. He's, he just has so much to offer. When it comes to high schoolers, that's huge, because he can relate to us. He works with us on just about any time restraint or time conflicts that we have, because we have a lot of them in show choir. He, he doesn't understand tech, and he doesn't try to, which is just the best thing ever. He, he knows I'm going to do my job, he trusts me, he trusts Laura, he trusts Chris so much to do everything. He's never had to get on my case about anything. He's always been so supportive of us. He always has our back when things go wrong. He 
he's definitely our number one supporter and I think it's so cool. I think Mr. Ziegler is such a blessing. <laughs> he truly is an amazing director. Like the techniques that he uses to get us to produce the sound that we do, I don't know how he does it. Uh, Mr. Ziegler is someone I'm honestly never going to forget. He does seem very, very scary when you first meet him because I was very much terrified of him my freshman year and even sophomore year. But as you work with him more and more, you realize how much of a soft he is and how smart he is, how much he's able to work with people and create a better person than that was there originally. Storm is a character. He, he's brilliant. I mean, he has a way of working with people that makes you feel like you're really important. There's always that personal bond with him. No matter what, at the end of the day, when he's talking to the group as a whole, it still sounds like he's talking to you. Like, he was the one that went and knocked on your door and said, hey, are you doing okay? It's always him saying, how are you feeling? Or it's him saying, you did great. It's not him saying it to the group and you sitting in the back saying, oh, I wish that was me. Just being able to listen to him and realize how much he cares about this art form and how much he cares about every single student that goes through his doors. It's a magical experience to work with him and I wouldn't trade anything for it. And the magic you create and the joy you bring to me and to your audiences is a miracle. You need to go on stage today knowing that and believing that and know that what you are about to share with the audience is you sharing a miracle with them because it's nothing less than that. That's all I have to say. Let's go do the show. <laughs> So Raise the Roof is Kennedy's show choir competition and for many years it was hosted at Kennedy. We had all the performances in the gym, critique was in our auditorium, but this year Zig decided to rent out the US Cellular Center and for the first time we moved down here and we got to perform in this huge arena space. It was just so cool. The Cell Center like seats about 5,000 people and it's the biggest place I have ever performed. This is like a really big deal.
When I was performing at the US Cellular Center, I, well, first of all, I walked on stage and I just remember staring out into the audience and just being amazed that it felt like the entire arena was filled up with people and it was just huge. Fond memory is in our closer. It's at this like powerful, like killer moment in the show, and every single time I just get these goosebumps everywhere, and it feels like I could literally do anything. And I just feel the energy like radiating off the entire group, and we're all connected, and it's just amazing. It's my favorite part in the whole show, and I am just looking forward to doing it on the Nashville stage and doing it as many times as I can till I have to give it up. <laughs> I'm gonna miss a lot of the people that I've known and I've grown with so much as a person that includes um, my technical crew members, the singers that have become, uh, they're my closest friends now, and then also the dads, especially Chris Caldbeck. He's pretty much been my father figure during show choir season for the last three years. I don't think I would be the person I am today if I wasn't on Tech Crew. Absolutely. 100%. All the technical dads have taken me under their wing, taken all of the other students under their wing, and I'm going to miss them so much. Four years in show choir has just been one of the big, greatest things in my life, and I wish I could do so many more, but I can't wait for what's next. I would say that my favorite memory was Jefferson last year, the Jefferson competition, because we won, which was a big, big thing for us. Our grand champion of the 35th anniversary of the Cedar Rapids Jefferson Show Carpentational comes to us from Kennedy High School. Yeah. I think that it was just a completely different feeling that we all enjoyed and we all want to we want to feel that again. Are we ready? We're hoping that they have one more show in Nashville. We're keeping our fingers crossed. Uh, we, hope, we hope you enjoyed the show. We love you, singers. I just want to be a king. And sometimes I wonder why do we have to grow up? Why can't we stay up forever?
when I went on stage at Going Out, I, I pretty much knew it was going to be our last performance for the season. I wanted to make Going Out count, and I wanted to like take every second I could to like really remember what it was like to perform on stage. And I've been looking in the back of the year book for memories, hoping our bow wouldn't end. But I'm not ready to hang up my jacket just yet. There are too many songs that I haven't sung yet. I need a little less and a little more time. I need a